two days ago, we left in the morning. We rode for six hours up two mountain passes. We slept on top of the lorry. We had to wake up before sunrise and then we left to go to the dunes. I can flip crabs like, a, hey. like French people, yeah? Those sweet little roommates of mine are making me pancakes for my birthday. Hell yeah. See? Not So I unfortunately don't have an intro film for this vlog, but to give some context and if you haven't seen the other videos, I'm volunteering at a ranch in Namibia with two other girls that I met there and we currently have a week tour with two guests, including a night camping under the stars and a ride in the dunes of the Namib desert. But before that, we had some rides around the ranch. This was on my birthday, which was really nice. I was riding Morgan, which became one of my favorite horses, by the way. And we did some rock climbing and then watched the sunset from the top of a little mountain. The next day we had a cattle drive. It was the first time I was doing this and I was riding Rumbo. It was quite fun. Hey! Okay. We're going to see the sundown with the mares and the foals and the mules and the mules and that's all we have to say so yeah <laughs> On that evening we went to see a herd of wild horses during sunset with the stallion, the mares and their foals Also, we were introduced to a local game that consists of putting dried oryx poo in your mouth and spitting it out as far as possible. This was interesting. <laughs> starting the ride six hours two hours up a mountain and then down and then we're gonna meet Katie again and Wolf uh, at the campsite okay so I want to explain a little bit what we did last two days because I didn't really properly vlog because um, I didn't have my camera with me but Basically, we left in the morning, we woke up at like 5 and left 
um, with the horses at seven and then we rode for six hours up two mountain passes I mean we crossed two mountains for like two hours was quite crazy on the last way down. We had to go down from the horses and walk next to them, which was cool, but also a little bit scary. Oh, good boy. And then we got to the camp. Um, Katie couldn't come with us because we could only take two of the volunteers. So we picked a paper and unfortunately she had to stay behind. But then we met her at the camp again. We got there for lunch, like at one or something. Um, and then we just chilled on top of the lorry where we then slept on later. Um, we saw a Bushman painting of an elephant. Hello! Where are we actually? I would like to know exactly where we are. We're somewhere in the middle of, of, nowhere. of the desert. Of nowhere? <laughs> I think there is a desert. Right? So we're in the middle of nowhere and we came here with the horses and we rode for six hours through like mountain passes and in the savanna. We saw a lot of animals like oryx and zebras and what else? <laughs> and baboons and now we are at a campsite where we're going to spend a light night on the lorry and that's going to be our bed with those beautiful mattresses very comfy Are you excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we're going to see the stars and tomorrow we are riding on the dunes what happened katie it's horrific it's a great time to have your periods isn't it that's the worst time ever there's not even a toilet <laughs> then we went to see the sundown that was nice i was driving on top of the car it was so cool Then we drove back, we had food. <laughs> yeah, and then we went to bed, so we slept on top of the lorry, which was fun. Good night, Leandro. Good night. Uh, and we had the Milky Way and all the stars above us. That was really beautiful. And then uh, slept more or less well. It was quite cold because my sleeping bag was a little bit too thin. And uh, then we had to wake up before sunrise, so at 5 a.m. again. It was three days in a row where we woke up at 5 a.m., which was really exhausting. We tacked up the horses and then we left to go to the dunes. That was like a three hours ride. <laughs> 
talking about breakfast again. Don't talk about food, I'm hungry. <laughs> and we spent like, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes on the dunes. That was really fun. Um, it feels so weird uh, riding on sand, especially on the way down, the horse is like sliding down. It was really fun. This is nice. And our beautiful bathe not matching outfits. <laughs> and yeah, we took some photos. And then we went back, it was getting really hot. And the lorry came to pick us up. We loaded up the horses and then we went back with the car. I was in the trunk with Leandra and the dog because there was not enough space for everyone, which was um, quite uncomfy, but it was okay. I'm so happy we're seeing him so close. Then we got back at the ranch. We had to bring the horses back. It was really hot. And then we had the afternoon off, so we went to the pool, which was nice. <laughs> um, and now the tour is almost over, so that was a seven day tour. And today we have a ride and Frida is uh, sick, so I have to do the ride. And I'm not exactly sure of the way, but I think we will manage. And then tomorrow there is either one last ride or just pool time. We will see. Uh, yeah, that's all. That was really cool. Really cool two days. The was quite an adventure. Also the toilet situation and everything. That was really funny. But it was really a great time. And that's all. Bye bye. Morning. Today's Sunday. It's the last day of the tour. But the guests um, said they would like to chill at the pool today. So we basically have um, the day off, which is nice. I'm gonna go to the pool. And right now I'm gonna do some laundry and have breakfast. It's nice to be able to sleep in a little bit on Sundays. My hair is so flat. Helmet life. <laughs>